Hey YouTubers, Dr. Seuss here. I want to thank everybody for their uh, comments on the reviews. I hope you're enjoying them. Um, it's good information. I know I learned a lot by watching other people's reviews on uh, different firearms when I was making my choices of purchases or future weapons. Rep weapons. Having problems today. Um, and also when I was uh, needing information on repairs or on certain techniques, especially with stripping. Um, there's some really great sites out there. Um, Iraq Vet on YouTube and Such um, really helped me out a lot. Uh, right now we're going to talk about the Smith & Wesson uh, 38 Special. Um, some people call it a snub nose. It's a uh, short barrel 38 Special revolver. Um, this is a square butt. There's two versions of this. There's the round butt and the square butt. This is a square butt. Uh, square butt's not as common, um, and also finding grips for it is a little tough because it is a square butt. Uh, this unit was made in approximately 1965, 66, somewhere around there. Um, it's a Model 36. Um, as you can tell, it's in mint condition. Uh, this is the firearm that I told you that a friend of mine um, who had purchased it for use in Vietnam, I'm assuming is a, a personal protection weapon, um, purchased it and then he used it in Vietnam and then when he came home he put it in storage and it stayed there for 40 years and he uh, was nice enough to transfer it to me. So you know who you are if you're watching this review and thank you very much. I will. I treasure this uh, pistol and um, very much enjoy shooting it and it's well taken care of. Um, it is a single action, five shot uh, revolver. Um, basically, uh, very simple. There's really not a lot to say about it. Um, it's a fun, small pistol to shoot. Um, it's a good carry pistol. A lot of police officers used to carry these as backups. Um, my opinion on a backup firearm, um, if you're carrying you know, an ankle holster or something along those lines, the nice thing about a revolver is you don't have to worry about any actions like a semi-automatic. I mean, you load this, you carry it, when you're ready to fire it in a pinch, you pull the hammer back and you pull the trigger. I mean, it's there. There's You can do it with one hand. So if you're disabled, you're restraining a perpetrator, and you need to draw your firearm, you need to draw your weapon, I mean, a, piss, a revolver, a small revolver is a great, uh, great, great firearm to do that with. Very few moving parts, very easy to work on, very easy to clean, uh, lightweight. Uh, questionable on that. Um, it weighs quite a bit. I apologize I don't have the weight on it, but I'd say just for a feel, um, probably close to two pounds. It's a steel firearm. Steel frame all the way. Very nice wood checkered grips. It's got a nice feel to it. Um, the only reason why I'd ever put a slip over on top of this is uh, just to protect the wooden grips that are on it and to maintain their integrity. Um, it does, it just, as you can see in my hand, I'm a left-handed shooter, it just fits. Um, it's really nice. I keep it in a, a small uh, belt holster. Um, it works quite well. This one I picked up at an auction. It's an Uncle Mike's Mirage uh, size 16. Uh, picked it up like four bucks at an auction. Um, you know, works right. So it's got two positions on it. You notice there's three slots for belts, so you can put it straight up and down, or you can put it on a slight angle if you're going to do a um, reverse draw or a cross draw on it. And it's got a nice snap to it. This uh, this holster will work on various firearms because you, you'll see with the Velcro, you can adjust um, the strap up and down for the, catching the action on it for safety reasons. And the clip comes off. It's rigid on this side. It's soft on this side. It's rigid on this side, so you can thumb release it really easy. Um, five shots. Disadvantage with this, with the small frame, um, I do have a speed loader for it, um, but as you'll see the drum sets really really close to the frame um, and right by the logo, uh, the Smith & Wedden logo. If you're using a speed loader, uh, for those of you familiar with them, you have to get it right over the drum, turn the knob, and it'll release the rounds into it, uh, into the drum. Uh, the problem with that is the speed loader has a bigger circumference than the drum and it doesn't fit real tight. So I bought one um, to try it out. Not real happy with it. Haven't used it since. My biggest concern is I don't want to scratch the finish on the firearm. And again, I'm not in any situation where I've got to do speed loading. So when I'm at the range, you know, it doesn't take very long to, 
you know, open up the drum and load five rounds into it. It's really smooth. It's quiet. You don't hear a thing. I mean, this is really, really a nice, nice firearm. Uh, this one does have a very light trigger pull, as you'll see, and it's okay to uh, air fire these. You know, you'll see, I just barely have to tap it, and she rocks. Um, with this kind of pistol, if you've never shot a revolver before, especially, you know, single action revolver like this, if you're target shooting, what I recommend is go ahead and single shot at a time, pull the hammer back, take aim, place your finger on the trigger, and when you're ready, discharge the firearm. Um, because it, to pull the trigger back, this has a real light trigger when it's in the cocked position. When it's not in the cocked position, it takes quite a bit of effort to pull the action back. So when you're doing that, um, it'll affect your aim, it'll affect your accuracy. So just take the time, pull it back, get on your sight, use your proper grip, whichever, you know, right or left handed. This is my position for shooting pistols usually. Uh, grip down, palm cup of my right hand under, take my aim through the sight and make uh, and discharge the firearm. Um, so again, if you're doing that, there's a lot of, and you can see there's a lot of movement, um, and it'll greatly affect your accuracy. So that's pretty much it. Uh, Smith and Wesson model 369 or model 36. Um, great pistol, rock solid, very long history. Um, with these, it's a it's a it's a very good um, weapon. So um, that's about it. Uh, this is a pretty short review on this firearm. There's not a lot to talk about. Um, for rounds with this 38 special, it's not picky. Um, any 38 special will do just fine. Um, I've stocked up pretty good American Eagle. Um, you can pick that up pretty cheap. I went to an auction, was able to pick up I think 10 boxes of it, relatively inexpensive. Um, so just a just a roundabout nice firearm. Okay, that's it for now. I will chat with you later. Uh, next one coming up is going to be the uh, Nagant um, seven shot Russian revolver made in 1944. It's an 1894 model. I'll be bringing that um, up next, and that'll be the next video posted. So again, please give me feedback um, either on YouTube or on Facebook and let me know what you think of these reviews. If you have any questions or you want to see anything specific, uh, let me know and I'll see what I can do about it. If it's not in my collection, maybe I can give you some information on where you can find information on what you're looking for. Okay, uh, Dr. Seuss uh, signing off. Uh, God bless the United States. God bless our troops. May they all come home safe and God bless the Republic. Bye-bye.